Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Layla. Make fashion advice videos as well as a little lifestyle kind of sprinkled in. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I love you. You're the best. Thanks for being here. Today I'm going to do a little Outfits of the Week video. Um, we're allowed to leave our house <laughs> in Toronto now. We are finally out of lockdown. It feels like it's been forever. Even that like mid-break almost didn't feel real. Like I feel like I've just been in lockdown since last year. It's been a wild ride. Mental health is suffering a little bit, but now the weather is getting nice outside and I can go out and I've given myself the challenge to wear more than just sweatpants. I'm feeling a lot better. So, I thought I would share some of the outfits with you that I've been wearing just to kind of inspire you if you are also feeling the same. I feel like a lot of us are kind of stuck in a bit of a rut. Just as much as we've forgotten how to like socialize, we've kind of also forgotten how to get dressed. I know I feel that way, so I gave myself the challenge to get dressed and just put actual outfits together and just feel myself for like a second of my life. And I want to share those looks with you just in case you know, you need a little inspiration. Okay, so today is so nice outside and I definitely could have gotten away with just wearing the sweater, but I did end up wearing a jacket, which I'll show you right now. I just popped out of the house to grab a couple of things and I wasn't too, too sure. Sometimes they say the weather's gonna be really nice and then you go outside and it's not actually that nice and then they say it's gonna be cold and then it's hot. So, you know, you never really know. And I am somebody who runs pretty cold, so I wanted to be prepared, but I definitely was a little over prepared. I could have gone without the turtleneck or just like not worn the jacket, but I did like the way that the jacket looked. Thought it was a little bit cuter with the jacket. I basically just talked to my camera for three minutes and didn't even record. Um, so I wore this sweater from H&M, turtleneck is H&M. I don't know where this coat is from. It's very old, but I will definitely try to link something similar. It's kind of like a blazer style pea coat, which I just love. I actually think that everyone should own like a blazer style pea coat because it's just, it's warm. It's an outing jacket, but you also still feel like super chic and kind of like amped up. Then this baggy bag that my boyfriend was just so sweet to surprise me with for our anniversary. Um, we don't really do like big gifts or anything so silly like that, but he knew I was coveting this bag for a hot minute. Then I am wearing these Levi's wedgies, which I think are, they're like this straight leg one without the raw bottom and I just love them so much. And then of course the infamous Birkenstock. I've had these since grade eight, which is a long time ago <laughs> but I love them they're definitely going to be my go-to for like bopping around when I have to run errands and stuff and they're just perfect for like early spring if I was hot I could take my sock off if I'm a little bit chilly I can put a sock on and still kind of get away with it without looking like socks and sandals you know this is a look that I wore this week Again, earlier in this week, I posted a video about how to kind of get dressed for spring and some strategies and the turtleneck is number one. I don't want to wear a scarf, but it still kind of has a bit of a breeze outside. Today, not so much. It was actually really warm. The breeze was really warm and I probably could have gone without this or without the jacket, but I just liked the look too much. So I sweated out and I wasn't going too far. I knew I was just coming back home. But if I was out, and I got too hot, I would have just taken off the sweater. I probably actually would have taken off this brown sweater and like put it over my shoulders with that cool kind of look um, that's been going around. Or I would have taken off the turtleneck and like bought something and put it in a bag and carried it. Um, but yeah, this is look number one. Super casual, comfy. All right, so this is another look that I wore this week when I went out for a pretty long walk. I have been, I want to say avoiding, you know, public transit as much as I can. If I don't have to go on it, then I don't go on it. I've had to take it though. You know, stuff happens, but I wanted to get my steps in and basically walk across the city, which I did the other day. So wearing Converse, the worst idea ever. I have blisters 
the size of my entire baby toe right now and I should have known better. I know this. <laughs> I know that Converse rub my toes real bad. Um, so yeah, I did that to myself, but it's okay because the outfit was cute. And I wanted to wear running shoes because it's honestly the best feeling when you can finally put running shoes on. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear Converse even though I knew exactly what was gonna happen. Honestly, this look would have been better today and the other look would have been better the other day. The previous one with the leopard coat, but you never know. This is the thing with spring weather dressing. So I was a little bit chilly to be honest, but when I was walking, I was fine. Um, I could have done for something around the neck, like maybe a turtleneck or something, or like yeah, just had worn like a turtleneck. <laughs> uh, but it was okay, I got through the day and it was totally fine. Um, uh, this jacket is vintage. I love a varsity coat. It's one of my favorite kind of like lighter jacket options to wear in the spring and the summer months. I think it just adds like an element of like, you know, cool street, a little vintage, a little 70s, which is what I like. This crew is from Dynamite. It's like the perfect kind of everyday black crew and I'm really, really happy that I kept this. I almost returned it when I bought a sweatsuit and it didn't match. Blacks were not matching. These are the other Levi's wedgies that I have. Um, these ones are the raw. These are the wedgie straight uh, cut and then these are the Converse high tops. I think these are the old school ones because they're like, they're not white. They're like a creamy kind of white color. I will link them down below. I know which ones that they are. I swear by high top Converse. I do not wear low tops. I don't like a low top. I'm very sorry to all of you that wear low tops, but there's just something about them that I literally hate. <laughs> um, but rock them if you like them, go for it. Another look and of course, twas. Okay, yeah, for sure. Amazing, thank you. Um, the day that I got the bagu, it's the day that I wore this outfit. It's like the perfect jaunt through the city look when it's not too cold out anymore. Happy. <laughs> this is my favorite coat, so I was really excited to finally wear it. Just, you know, it's another tip that I was talking about with the last video. Break out your colors. It honestly gives you such a pep in your step and you just feel spring ready. All right, another look that I've actually worn this week. This uh, video is very realistic. Sometimes, you know, you do these videos and you're like, oh, the outfits I wore this week, done it, where I just like make them up. I mean, based on realistic terms, like stuff that I would wear, but these are actually realistic looks that you could have caught me in on the street. Um, I wore this in my last video. I told you this is like, this is my look right now. Turtleneck, little leopard, the glossiest sweater I'm basically living in because it's nice and plushy and comfy and I just feel super warm. And then this like honestly just could not be more of a me outfit, like this baby pink, leopard, a bit of a denim, denim going on, a platform of some sort because your girl is teensy, and a PVC bag. I am such a sucker. Oh, and Sherpa, duh. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going in this look. Maybe for a walk to get a coffee, uh, which I think is what I did. I think I went to go drop off packages uh, for Poshmark with this outfit on. Uh, just super warm. This jacket is like crazy warm, but still, you know, light enough. It's not super long. So when it is kind of like that hot, cold weather that's happening with the springtime, um, I'm okay to wear it. And if I got too hot, I would just take the sweater off and pop it into my This bag. is like another kind of warmish day that happened. Um, to be honest, I wasn't wearing this jacket. I was borrowing my friend's adorable pink corduroy jacket top button up thing that I am a total dingus and just waited way too long. And now there's only larges left on Zara.com, which I'm really bummed about, but Steph, you already know I texted you, told you the disappointing news and that I would be stealing yours forever. So anyway, I wanted to wear the really bright pink jacket with this because it was so cute, but I did take photos in it, so it happened and it exists. Uh, this bag, you're gonna die. It's from the dollar store. <laughs> it was like four bucks and it's basically my favorite bag right now. <laughs> a little denim tote. It's like the perfect little shopper tote and bump around all day and put stuff in it bag. Kind of like everything but your kitchen sink. 
and then we've seen this blazer a whole bunch such a good value village find it's like just the perfect fit um i'm really small so i always look for a petite line of brands whenever i am thrifting because they always fit obviously really well like i don't ever find a jacket like a suit jacket that fits my wrists like that that is a wild unheard of thing to happen um and i just love this plaid so much it's like the perfect plaid it has the blue it has the green it has the red on the black background with like the yellow kind of stitching and velvet buttons like can you even be serious right now how cute is that this is definitely one of my favorite all time all time favorite vintage finds and then it wouldn't be a layla outfit um if i wasn't wearing a vintage well this is a vintage but a like band tee of some kind so got my girl dolly here working nine to five honey and then my favorite jeans of course denim is basically my second skin like i hardly ever wear anything but denim if i do it's like a cute trouser and then of course my low docks because it is spring and i am ready to bust these babies out these are my favorite transition weather shoes it's time to get rid of boots but you still need kind of like a weather appropriate shoe something that will get you through the rain or whatever kind of comes your way spring can be kind of gross in toronto so i like to have a good sturdy leather dock on to get me through my days and walking through the city they're just such a great shoe and they just pull together any look like i instantly look a little bit more chic okay I instantly look a little bit more chic and like pulled together with the dock. It's time to bring these babies back out. I love these overalls. They are actually so perfect, especially if you are a petite. They fit my leg. Um, I could definitely put the measurements down below of my leg length, <laughs> uh, but it's short. I'll say that. And they fit perfectly. Like look at the length on that. Call these my Alexandra Gator overalls because if you follow her which I feel like you do if you are here because we did a collab and lots of you came over from her channel um, these are like the Alexandra Gator overalls she wears them all the time she wears them in all of her videos where she improves people's rentals and their beautiful homes but they're like literally her signature now and I bought them and every time I wear them I just feel like I'm Alex I actually feel like Alex right now with my my hair color and uh, length. <laughs> Sup Alex if you're watching and I am wearing it with my New Balance 420s. I really like these ones because they're quite thin. They're not, um, I find New Balance to be quite chunky and large which is not a bad thing but sometimes that can be a little bit overwhelming especially if you already have a pair of chunky shoes. It's nice to have ones that are a little bit slim and um, Oh, it's pouring rain. Oh my god. It's wild out there. So if you hear rain, because it's raining. Duh. Anyway, I just love overalls. They're so comfy. And again, oh my god, it's actually pouring. Can you even hear me? I have another turtleneck hack, this time in sweater form. A nice turtleneck sweater is the perfect kind of like spring hack when you, again, don't want to wear a jacket and you don't want to wear a scarf. Wear a thicker sweater, wear like a crew neck long sleeve underneath and you can definitely get by all day long and your neck is nice and warm and you look super cute. And then I just threw on this little bag, but honestly, I'd wear anything. I would wear like a tote with this, whatever floats your boat really. Now, overalls are so not the most flattering but I will tell you they're stinking comfortable and I'm gonna wear them forever and I don't care y'all I told you it was going to pour rain the lighting is so crazy in here right now it's like so dark outside I have a light here that I'm trying to get some light from dang um and my floor is so squeaky this house I tell you is not made for filming pouring outside and I hope that you can hear me just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching that video I hope that it gave you a little bit of inspiration if you liked it remember to hit the like button down below subscribe to my channel it is free to do and you can join the fashion fam over here my feet are so sweaty thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye